Good afternoon, fun of the day. It's Fraze here, honouring uh, our good friend Romy Williams. He probably wasn't a bird watcher, but uh, I was watching a bit of Good Morning Vietnam last night, so I just thought I'd add that in. I will um, probably try that again sometime, put a bit more oomph in it like he would. Um, anyway, who does not love Robin Williams? I'm um, just trying, I've got about five minutes, got to go and pick up my son from school. Uh, but I thought I'd just have a very quick nip down to Black Swan, looking across the lake, just to see if we've got any seabirds. We don't. Uh, one of the other sites in Berkshire called Lower Farm did have a uh, kitty wake. It was still there, I think, yesterday. Generally, they don't survive. Um, I just um, come up with a real high-tech solution to stop my phone from dipping down off of landscape. It's a little piece of... Um, what do you call it, material plaster, kind of like Band-Aid. And uh, that sticks on the inside of the thing that goes around the eyepiece of my scope. And sure enough, <laughs> it isn't actually slipping down for once. Um, like I said, got a couple of minutes. Sun's not quite setting, probably about an hour or so. Um, it's been chilly. There's been quite a lot of showers, um, but I haven't had a chance to get out. If I had, I'd be down at the bottom of the car park field now. Chance in my, um, chances keep my uh, eyes peeled for uh, golden plover. I haven't got time, so that's the way it is. A good friend of mine, Ron, was over my house. We just finished having coffee, and I was stood at my uh, kitchen sink washing up the mugs. Looked out of the window, went, "Oh, look! There's a peregrine flying over there, just beyond my garden, over Central Woodley." And he just said to me, "Good grief! How did you ID that in like one second?" And I said, "Well, it comes down to several factors, really, and it's that you know there's only a certain number of candidates at this time of year." And there's only a certain number of birds that that size it was basically nearly hovering at one point so i my, my brain works pretty fast um candidates time of year whereabouts what it's doing and it was really a very quick process of elimination it's only about three species of that size um kestrel sparrowhawk peregrine get very very few kestrels there's really just not the long grass one i've had one or two fly in my garden but hardly any in fairness when it did what it did, it was pretty damn obvious straight away that it was a peregrine. Just wanted to share a couple of uh, extra moments. I'm going to turn the um, camera onto the uh, oyster catcher, which is again uh, back on the raft. It's really just what I'm, yes, I'm saying here is uh, I've just uh, come up with a better means to making sure this scope does actually stay where I want it to. Just slightly lift. And you can just believe it. Good God, I can't tell you how hard that was to actually achieve. Um, but there it is. I've no idea whether it's in focus because uh, yet again, I haven't got my glasses to hand, but I'm not really convinced it works. There it is, sun's behind it, so the light's really rubbish. But um, for me, this is a success story because basically my phone is not slipping out of landscape mode. So howdy doody, hallelujah, and rock and roll. I am filming. So charming, the people just uh, started shouting across the river at me are from South Africa and they just wanted to know what I was pointing the telescope at. Now they know, and you will see them just walk past the tops of their heads. There we go, lovely. Go South Africa. So that's it. Fraser Coddington, find of the day. Hasn't really been one, but my success story is making sure that my phone stays at the right angle during filming onwards upwards so right down to business um things on my mind now is it's february the 12th we've got no mandarin duck yet so far i suspect hardly anyone's been looking for golden plover and uh, red shank will be in any moment now we've got a number of years in in recent years when uh, red shanks nipped in or popped through early February and um, there's probably others too as we to me any time now at any point during the winter a merlin could fly over same is true with brambling uh, it's not a brambling winter by any means but that doesn't mean they'll start moving already February as I probably said in other videos is a time when many of the kind of um, uh, harder winter birds are moving from one place to the other and would just come on by and you have to keep your eyes open it might only be a three or four second flyover bird just like the goose under the other uh, well the other last month 
just had that slot and it happened live while I was there. So um, I really, really want to get out. I can't wait to get out. My time is so limited, um, but at least the mornings are just dawn. It's just getting that little bit earlier now. I'll be able to snatch 20 minutes any day soon now on the bright mornings. That's not looking likely in fairness though. I think the forecast for tonight right the way through tomorrow is a washout. So I guess tomorrow's out too. Um, but um, certain things I do for work which I won't be able to do either. So one way or another, I'll try and steal half an hour. I want to get as many little um, uh, videos out as, as often as possible and um, committed to showing people that want to watch some of the skills that they can all acquire with a bit of perseverance. I'm Fraser Cuttington. This is fine of the day. I can't reverse and do this, but there we go. Peace and goodwill. <laughs>